check it out ladies this is one of my most favorite cards and it's so easy to do and I did the inside in the envelope join me in the craft room and I'll show you how this week for my one color wonder I got jar of love and blueberry bushel from the jar of love stamp set I'm going to be using this stamp this stamp this stamp this stamp this stamp and the hello I don't think there's anything else that I have from um, I have some scraps of whisper white and some scraps of blueberry bushel I have a piece of whisper white that's for the card front that is actually like one and three eighths by five and a half and this is one four this is blueberry bushel and it's one fourth by um, five and a half I have my card base that's five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a fourth I have my envelope I'm using the everyday jars framelits and I'm using this one that matches the stamp this one that matches the stamp and this one that matches the stamp and I have my blueberry bushel ink and my blueberry bushel marker and I'm also going to be using a ruler so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take and do some stamping so let me because I've got to do some die cutting so I'm going to stamp this I don't know how many of these I'm gonna need so I'm gonna stamp like two of everything oh poo flip it over there we go all right and I'm gonna stamp a couple of these all right that one I can't stamp because it's not being cut out. This one I'm going to stamp, but I need to um, off stamp it. So I'm just going to grab a scrap. Let me see. Yeah, that's good. So there's that. And I'm going to stamp once. And twice. And it's okay that those don't turn out because we're going to stamp this on top and I'm going to use full strength on this one. All right. I am going to cut these out and I'm also going to cut out some of the same shapes out of the blueberry bushel. All right. I got my pieces cut out and I want to add some glue to the back of it. Before I add glue to these two, what I'm going to take and do is I'm going to take my ink and the smaller part that goes inside and I'm going to stamp that and I've got to, sorry, i got to put my head down here so I can get it on there. I'm just going to stamp that because if not, it doesn't really look like much. Sorry, my head got in the way, but there, just to add a little bit of interest to it. And then I'm going to add glue to the back of it. Ugh, almost put my finger in that. Now, I may not use all those pieces, but I'd rather have too much than not enough. All right. I'm going to take my um, piece that's uh, one in... Uh, one and three eighths by five and a half. And I'm gonna add, I need a piece of uh, paper under here again too, because if not, it's going to, it's not gonna, my lines aren't gonna be straight. I'm gonna add some lines, and I'm gonna add different kind, sizes of lines. 
And to make sure that it goes on straight, I'm gonna use the edge of my ruler. Oops, it would help if you did all the way across. And then I'm gonna take and I'm gonna use this and line it up and do another one. Move it down, line it up. Of course, you gotta line it up and not move it. And I know this looks crooked, and with my luck it probably will be, but we'll find out, won't we? All right, now what I'm gonna take and do is I wanna add some small lines in between. So I'll work from the other direction, and I'm gonna use the skinny end of the marker. Hopefully there's enough on here. And I'm gonna use my lines again and draw some lines in here. And I may add, um, you know what, I'm not, I'm not wiping this off. Let me grip my, I'm hoping that if you don't wipe your ruler off, if you drag it across your paper, you'll get marks. So I'm just going to wipe it off in between. It won't take much. Oh, now see that one. It's okay, I guess. We'll find out, won't we? Let's move to it here. All right. I'm going to turn my pen. Sometimes if you turn your pen, see, it works better. So my suggestion is to, whoops, let's do that one, to rotate your pen so you're using a different side each time. And then I'm going to do this last one, and I've got to come down here and add some some more lines. Let's go up here. I'm trying to vary the widths. To give it some interest. This is just just something different, you know, without having to have the um oh, I need to do this side. Without oh stuck hazard um, without having to have DSP and all here's a way to work around it and now what I'm going to take and do is I'm going to go back to my fat end and I'm going to I'm going to add one in the in here so I'm going to use I'm going to use the holes in my ruler And then I'll add one in here. And I'm just filling in. There's no rhyme or reason to it. Oops, see, I didn't clean my ruler and I've got some marks on there. Um, nope, too much. I think I'm going to put one more here and then I'm done. Yes. Not bad. I only messed up that one spot. Oh well. All right, so I've got that. Now, what am I doing? This is going to go here, down the edge. But what I'm going to take and do is I'm going to fold my card base. Um, and I'm going to use my piece of paper. Because what I want to do is I want to stamp this. And I'm going to stamp it in the background. But I don't want to stamp it on top of here. So what I'm doing is I'm using this as a guide to know where to stamp it. And I'm 
about how high up to go. Ah, all right, let me see if I can do this. Probably because I'm, hold on, I'm gonna get my head in the way. Not bad. It's just a second look. I might do it on the rest of it. I kind of like it. All right, now that I have that one, I have an idea of where these have to go. Oh, it doesn't matter if the bottom doesn't turn out. And then I'm just gonna shift it a little. Oh, I like that. See, there's always a way to fix a mistake. And then this one I'm gonna do about the same as the other one. There we go. Now what I'm gonna take and do is I'm gonna lay this on here and I'm going to, I'm not gonna glue, um, glue it down. Again, I'm using it for placement. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna stick it down in there and then I'll cut off my pieces as I need them. Let's put this one here. Um, let's put a flower like here. Um, I can't go too low because this piece is gonna go over top here. So I have to keep that in mind with them. All right, and I'm gonna put this just underneath like so. Um, give me a blue flower. No. Sorry, there's a dog in the building barking, so Bijou's gotta bark too. All right, I gotta get this out. And then I'm gonna put this one here. I'm going to end up using all these pieces just because I'm going to layer them. And sometimes only pieces will stick out. All right, I need to move this one. It's the advantage of glue. Now, that goes there, and one more piece, nope, nope, let me stick it back there. All right, now I need to use my scissors, and I'm going to cut from this side so I cut off, make sure I get the, a good cut on the edge. All right, now this is gonna go down here. And if you're wondering how I came up with this idea, I saw this on a, um, somebody had done it on a challenge blog that I, I check out every once in a while. But they had used different colored papers. And I thought, I'm gonna try it with just one paper. Now, you don't have to put this there. Let's see. But to me, it just kind of helps break it up. And what I might do before I stick it down is pull like this one up some. I'll leave that one down. I'll pull this one up some. Ah, it flipped over on me. Not good. And I'm okay, sorry about that. I got a phone call right in the middle of this. But um, you don't have to add that strip, but I kind of like it. Um, I wish that hadn't got messed up. If you want some bling, take your Wink of Stella. And I think I might try it. I'll add some wink a Stella to some of the navy blue pieces. 
I'm not going to do it on all of them, but or navy blue, listen, listen to me, um, the blueberry bushel pieces, just to give it a little bit of sparkle, because it was just plain. You know me, I don't like it plain. So, oh, I like that. It's just a hint down the side. Oh, very pretty. Oh, you can't see that. You'll have to look at it in the picture. Hopefully, you'll see it in the picture. All right, now, I need a sentiment. Um, I don't know if this came out on the other one, but I saw this idea on a challenge blog, and they had used um, the same idea, but they'd used all different colors. Now, they hadn't stamped behind it. Um, and I'm going to stamp just a hello down at the bottom. I think this is one of my most favorite cards. I really like this. And as you saw, I didn't have a whole lot of supplies. But there you go. Let's see. Oh, and I did the inside and the envelope. Let's see what we're going to do next week. All right, I got sheltering tree. All right, I'm not looking, I promise. And Sahara sand. Hmm, that could be interesting. Sahara sand's light. All right, well, we'll see. I hope you've inspired, I've inspired you today. You've inspired me. I hope I've inspired you today. And then if you, um, you like my creation, give me a thumbs up. Share it. Don't mind at all. I hope I see you next week when I do sheltering tree with Sahara sand. Have a great day.